Good day everyone and welcome to another how to on one of the mods that we have in the game. One of those mods we're going to use today is the precision tool. You can get the precision tool from the workshop. The precision tool makes it rather easy to make rotaries, you know, different kind of angles, um, bridges especially, you know, stuff that goes into here. So I'm going to show the basics of the tool. As you see here, we already put down the road. And what we're going to do here, just to show how the tool works, is building another road next to it. So now we're going to start off, off with a highway. And you can see the U. So the longer you make it, the more U you get on the road. U is basically measurement. 10 U is kind of something like one block with a normal road. So we're going to make it 35 U's. If you use the shift key, you get more stuff. So with shift, we can see the elevation in the center how many meters it is and of course the most important thing is at the end of the road on the right side you can see a small yellow line and that small yellow line shows you how many meters you are apart from the other road now this is very important especially when you're making some big heavy constructions later on in the game my recommendation for roads like these is between 30 and 35 meters so we're going to put this one at 35 meters so this makes it possible for later on if you're going to make a road over it to put a pillar in between very important later on with the heavy constructions that you're making so you can do something like that. If you have not 30 meters, it's still possible. But the degree that you can take on the angle is going to be far limited, too limited in order to make something nice out of it, you know, compact and stuff like that. So hence my recommendation of 35 meters. If you have 35 meters, you can make a corner here without any problems. You see, this one's a little less this one is a lot more on the downside now what it also shows you when using this tool is the elevation between two roads now let's get rid of this 50. fairly easy to make your own custom rotary so we're going to start out you can put on snap tool very easy for rotary so we're going to make it 10u you see 10u you can see the degrees. The degrees are very important when you're making a rotary. Somewhere around 90 degrees. You know, no one's perfect. I'm not saying it will be. So, 10U, 90 degrees. Now, with the snap tool, it makes sure that it's a straight line. If it ain't, make sure the angle right here, the green one, is 180 degrees. making rotaries rather easy so around 90 degrees 10 u there we go fairly easy now that's one of the features you know that you have with um, using the precision tool besides the angles and the use that you're using and the difference in you know the measurement between two roads you can also see the measurements in the elevation so if we're going to take for example now oh, we're going to do something here now we're just going to make a road here and say hey guys okay we just want this it doesn't need to be perfect if you have your base down make sure this road is on the top side of the screen and the other one the road that you are going to work with is on the bottom this is all because of the snapping you can see here if I'm gonna press shift we're at 20 28 meters if we're gonna turn around the camera we have 30 meters oh no even less but due to the camera you can make a better precision like this now if we're gonna press shift you see how many years it is so the last part is 5 years, the center part is 73 years, but the elevation is that what counts. 
Now the elevation is 13 meters. Now with 30 meters, you know, that means we're below the center line where that road is built. So we're 30 meters below that road. Now you can press page up, page down, and now you see it's one meter. The end will be okay, but everything else won't. So make sure you angle the camera pretty sh soon, or pretty good. So play a little bit with it and keep track on the left side on how many elev meters elevators. Two meters, three meters, no problem at all. 35 meters in between. Very important, 35 meters, like I said before, if you're ever going to make a track above it and going to put a pillar in between. Very handy having a pillar here. That makes the corner very short compared to the other side. You know, if you have to make something like this on top of it, normally it won't go. Well, these are some of the constructions you can do. You can do a lot with the precision tool. We use it quite a bit here. I'm going to show you. Um, we use the tool on the elevation part here to make sure we get you know enough space in between. Um, we're we use it on the train tracks here. Very important, as you can see, the train tracks. If you have enough room for the next track, you can easily add other tracks to it because the pillar can shift its course. Very important, always keep enough room. For train tracks I recommend 25 meters. At the minimum of let's say 20 meters, maximum 25 meters. Then you have enough room to play with. On highways, minimum 30 meters, maximum 35 for future references. So I hope that helped quite a bit on the precision tool. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. And I'm going to wish you a very nice day.